Hey guys and welcome to a new video. So this video is going to be a very special video because it's not just going to be tips to play Riven on a good level, but this is actually going to be tips to play Riven just exactly like BoxBox. Within the past few weeks I've been doing a lot of research about BoxBox and there's definitely some things that he does differently from all the other pro Riven mains. Now as for the first tip to play a Riven like BoxBox is to pick a dual Q jungler. Basically BoxBox has a very good friend and that friend is called King Nidhogg. I'm sure you guys have heard about that guy before because BoxBox has been dual queuing with this guy multiple of seasons in a row trying to get challenger together with him. And their strategy is that he as a top laner and him as a jungler, BoxBox is trying to play as safe as possible in the laning phase trying to make the lane as gankable as possible so if King Nidhogg decides to go top lane they can get a guaranteed kill for sure. This is a very good strategy in order to win games because Riven is a very good champion for setting up ganks in lane and King Nidhogg is also a Jarvan main making it even easier to catch the kills. So find yourself a good friend to play with you and also make sure that that friend of yours is also around your size of your elo and then pull off the exact same strategy. It's definitely gonna work and it's definitely gonna make your games a lot easier. The second tip to play Riven just like BoxBox is to start the game off with a longsword and a revealable potion. BoxBox has been doing this in pretty much every single game that he plays. In fact if you go down to his current stats of all the games that he plays he's going with longsword and revealable potion in every single game that he's about to play. The idea behind this is to save as much gold as possible in the early stage of the game. Yes, if you go with a longsword with 3 potions, you're going to have a lot more kill pressure and you're going to have a lot more chance to win the lane, especially around the early few levels. But the thing is, if you take the strategy to go with longsword and revealable potion and you just play safe until you do your first best, Back, you're gonna have already an extra of about 150 gold because you don't have to buy the potions anymore since you have already started out with the revealable potion. You don't have to rebuy potions so that's a great thing and you can immediately get off to a warhammer. As for tip number 3, just to play a Riven like box box, you want to go down into your rune page, you want to take Conqueror and then go down into your secondary page, take the Sorcery with Transcendence and also the Gathering Storm. Into the bonus stats you want to take the Scaling CDR with 1 point into the a Adaptive Force and then 1 point into the Health Scaling, Armor or Magic Resist, depending on the matchup that you are playing against. This is just the exact same thing like the revealable potion. Boxbox is playing with this runes pretty much every single game that he plays regardless of the matchup that he is in. The idea behind this rune page is that he's going conquer which obviously is the most powerful thing to go for right now in the current patch and he's also going down into the sorcery page just to take the transcendence because he wants to have a better scaling into the mid and the late game. Basically if you take the transcendence and you go over capping the 40% CDR everything that goes beyond 40% is going to be translated into AD and you can clearly see that in the bonus stats because he's going for the scaling CDR which means that he wants to over cap his CDR just to take the extra AD for the game. This rune page does make you a little bit weaker in the early stage of the game but it definitely pays off if you go into the mid to the late game. As for tip number 4 to play Riven just like BoxBox is to play to participate in as many kills as possible. It might sound really weird but BoxBox doesn't really care if he doesn't get the 10 CS per minute. In fact his main goal is to help out his team and to participate in as many kills as possible to make sure that he wins more games. Just being and existing in the team fights and being there for the team really does make a difference 
difference for the game. This is why his KDA as well as his farm is not pure golden in a game, but he's still carrying most of his games because of his existence. Also, Boxbox once said that if a game is pure lost, if a game is uncarryable to come back from, let's say that your entire team is just behind and there's literally nothing that you can do, the best thing that you can do is to try and make a very big stupid play and try and make it work. So let's say that everybody is behind about 30 kills and everybody wants to quit the game because they don't think that they can win anymore. It's better just to stay out of base and actually try stupid things and make it work rather than just sitting in base farming and then waiting for your results which is not going to come at all. You'd be surprised how many games you could win if you are willing to try stupid things. Don't care too much about your KDA. KDA doesn't matter in the long run. In the long run, it's about you winning games. So if you find yourself in a very bad game, then just try some stupid things. Somehow you could maybe win a game. As for tip number five to play Riven like Boxbox is to keep your flash for every fight. Like I said before, Boxbox really doesn't care about his KDA, so he's really willing to die to keep his flash for the next upcoming team fight. And I guess everybody knows that if you have your flash up as Riven, there's so many things that you can do with it. You can carry super hard if you have your flash up for the next fight. So keeping your flash instead of wasting your flash to survive is a really great thing. The best thing you can do to prevent yourself in getting in those situations is simply to stop making those mistakes. I know it's very hard, everybody is making mistakes every day. Even as me being a challenger player, I still make mistakes every single day and I still have those really bad games. But anyway, stop making those mistakes and you don't get in those situations anymore. As for tip number six, we have to prioritize Guardian's Angel as the third item in every single game that you are about to play. So like I said before, Boxbox likes to get as much kill participation as possible. This is pretty much the same thing. He wants to buy Guardian's Angel as the third item every single game because he's often joining all the team fights. And Guardian's Angel can really make the difference between winning a team fight or losing a team fight. Guardian's Angel is a very OP item for team fighting because it opens up many opportunities for you. One of the things I'm talking about is being able to engage into a team fight and also being able to survive. It also prevents you from being one shot by the enemy team which is honestly a really great thing and there are so many other things too. As for tip number 8 is to perfectionize Riven at everything. So you want to play Riven just like Box Box. That means that you have to be able able to play Riven just like perfect. If you want to get better at animation cancelling as well as combos and literally everything, you can simply go down to my YouTube channel. I have a lot of videos about Riven and her combos and animation cancelling and all of that stuff. So make sure you check that out guys. If you want to become that perfect Riven, then you have definitely come to the right place. As for tip number 9, we have buy the stopwatch when a play is coming. Similar to the Guardian's Angel, you buy that item before a team fight is starting. And what you want to do is you want to engage into the enemy team. You want to get that perfect play off. And then you want to help yourself with the stopwatch. You want to use it and get yourself to safety after all of your things are on cooldown. Just like the Guardian's Angel, the stopwatch does pretty much the same thing, but then in another way. So always make sure you get that stopwatch before you actually go and buy the Guardian's Angel. As for the last tip of this video today, guys, just to play a Riven like Box Box, this is going to be more of kind of an interesting one. You guys are not going to see this coming. Basically, play Dragon Blade when tryharding. This is a very interesting one because some people think that skins don't matter at all to Riven. But the thing is, skins do matter and you have to get used to playing one skin. Don't play all the skins of Riven because that's going to slow down your progress. You want to get used to playing one skin only because each skin plays very different. 
Boxbox is playing with the Dragon Blade skin because he feels very smooth with it. He feels like he's very comfortable playing this skin in his ranked games. In this case, I don't recommend all of you guys to go and play Dragon Blade right now. You can if you want to, but if you have a specific skin that you are good at, then make sure you always play the skin over and over again. Always stay used to it because changing skins really do matter and it's really going to slow down your animation canceling and combos. As for myself, I'm playing with Arcade pretty much every single day. I like the skin. There's some people that say that the Arcade skin is very slow, but it's really calmed down to what skin you are used to. I'm also playing a lot with the Battle Bunny skin nowadays. The Battle Bunny skin feels really great too. So as long as you play with the skin that you feel good at, then make sure you play the skin over and over again. Anyway, here's all of the tips just to play Riven like Box Box. I've been doing a lot of research to make this video possible. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you are looking for a high elo Riven stream, make sure you check out my stream because I help help people get better every single day not just on League of Legends but also about Riven and if you're looking for a nice and friendly discord community make sure you join my discord server guys and I guess I'll catch you guys up in my next video and also my next stream man peace